Stephen Cassius Rife on TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbella. We're in Newcastle here for the Geordie Raw press conference with me fighting this Saturday night, Stephen Simmons. How are you, Stephen? I'm good, Cook. How are you? Very well, thank you. Um, Eddie Hearns suggesting that Dickinson is your uh, toughest test to date. Do you agree with him? Yeah, well, the way I look at it is every fight that you come across in your path is going to be your toughest fight to date. So this is my next fight, so it's my toughest fight to date. Uh, but then my next one will be my toughest fight to date. So I just need, to, just need to look at it as fight by fight and just do the job I've got to do. How do you rank Dickinson amongst people like Camacho and Graf and them kind of guys that you've already faced in your career? Well, he held the uh, British title and won it outright. So he's obviously uh, definitely a, lot, a much better uh, fighter than them. But I don't think he's seen the best of Graf when Graf got beat up me. He just came across a, a monster on the night. But uh, he's definitely going to be a, a tough one. But I'm confident I'm going to do a job on the night. I've trained hard. And you believe the fight won't last the 10 rounds? Nah, I don't think it'll last 10 rounds, to be fair. I think uh, my, my, my style will be too much for him. And uh, if they knock him out, I'll stop him. You've been out, obviously, in Marbella. Uh, and you've recently signed up with uh, Macklin's in Marbella, haven't you? So yeah, I just signed up uh, a few weeks ago. I signed a management contract with him and I'm absolutely delighted because they've looked after me for the last year while I've been training out there and back and forth and stuff. So it was, the night was on the ball and it's great to be part of the team, officially. Any, uh, any sparring with the Viking out there? Who's the Viking? The Viking. Oh, Dave. Yeah. Nah, uh, he wouldn't. Uh, um, he was just ticking away. He was waiting on a date for a fight, so he was just sparring. I've got some sparring with uh, big guys that good, great lad, and uh, some good quality sparring with him. What are you hoping and winning over Dickinson can do for your career, pushing on this year? Because, as I said, you you were pushing on last year. It slowed up a little bit for you, but. 2015, you really need to be making a stamp, don't you? Yeah, I'm hoping for a big year. Make a statement in this fight and then look on to hopefully getting a British or Commonwealth or, or another international title. But I want to move forward from the WBC International Silver title now after this fight. Uh, move on to something bigger and it's going to push me. Okay. I'm going to have you aware that uh, my other half and your mother are, are BFF now. You know what that is, don't you? It's women, just let them be. This is their best friends, apparently. Yeah. Facebook friends. Nightmare. For you. Well, I don't know, they've just been, you know, <laughs> DMing each other. You know, she's like, good luck to Stephen, he's going to do it. And she's like, thank you. And it's, all, it's just all going off. I know, it's, that's women for you. You just, not, you just need to let them be. We shall let them be. Yeah, we shall let, let them be, be. let them be. Your <laughs> 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 famous Beatles. <laughs> Alright, listen, best of luck on Saturday night. Yeah. And, uh, We'll catch up with you over the weekend, alright? Thank you, see Thank you later. Thank you very much. Bye.